Portfolio Tech presentation, managing communities. So there's a number of different ways you can effectively go to manage the communities that you are a member of or a participant in, the first of which is the TBB, the top black bar, or you can come to the right side of the screen where you have the manage icon as well as click the circle, which indicates the number of communities you participate in, as well as will take you to the management screen. If you aren't a part of a community, you can click the plus. That allows you to join a community. We're going to go ahead and start off by clicking the Manage Community icon in the TBB, which takes me to the view of my communities where I can see I have four of them. If I click on the Action List icon, I have additional actions that I can perform related to this community. The first of which is view the ePortfolios that are shared in this community. In this one, you can see there are none, but I can click the Add Portfolio button that allows me to share any of my ePortfolios that I've created and then it appears in that ePortfolio listing. The second icon allows me to view this community. This opens up in a new tab and shows me all the ePortfolios that are shared in the community that I have access to view, as well as the members that are a part of that community. Go ahead and close that tab and go back to my listing of communities that I'm affiliated with. From here, Let's go and look at another way I can share my ePortfolio in a community, and that's from the ePortfolio dashboard. You can see here that that ePortfolio, the first one, is actually shared in one community, but my two other ePortfolios have not been shared yet. If I wanted to share this second ePortfolio listed, I could click the Share in Community button. It gives me access to the communities that I am a participant of, and I can share in one or multiple communities at a time. Once I've shared in a community, the ePortfolio management screen indicates that I've shared one time for this ePortfolio. I could go click on my ePortfolio or my community management screen and see these communities and the ePortfolios listed. Or if I click the one, the circle, this shows me an additional display of my community management screen that is filtered by that ePortfolio. If I change the drop down to all ePortfolios, this shows me all of the communities that I am a participant of. And if I open these, this particular community and add in that same ePortfolio that I just shared, and then look in the community that I just shared that ePortfolio in, so now it is shared in two locations. If I filter by that ePortfolio, I can see those two communities appear in my filtered display. If I go back to my ePortfolio listing now, you can see that that ePortfolio has been shared inside of two communities. The final way to share is when I'm actually editing my ePortfolio. So let's go into the editor and I still have my sharing options here where I can share publicly, privately, or share in a community. And this takes me once again to the community management screen that allows me to share my ePortfolio. Filter once again, community management screen to list it, all of my portfolios. And that covers the video for community management.